verify its identities. So we need to prove that second x minus second x multiplied by sine squared x will be equal to cosine x. Now, the first thing that we will do here is we need to factor out second x because it's common factor. Now, to do the factors, you will say second x multiplied by 1, and this will be equal to second x multiplied by sine squared x. So we have a common factor of second x. So we will take that out, then we will have 1 minus sine squared x is equal to cosine x. And we will use reciprocal identities. So we have second x is equal to 1 over cosine x. So we will replace that. We will use these identities. We have second x is equal to 1 over cosine x. So we will replace second x to 1 over cosine x. Then we have the identities of uh, the Pythagorean identities. We will change it to uh, 1 minus, so we will subtract sine squared on both sides because we need to prove that the equation is equal to cosine x. So we need to replace the sine because there's no cosine here. All remaining is only cosine. So we need to replace the sine into a relation with the cosine, which is the Pythagorean theorem of sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So if we will subtract sine squared theta in both sides, so we have this will be 0, cosine squared theta is 1 minus sine squared theta, which is the same with cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So we will use these identities. So we have cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So we will replace the 1 minus cosine squared x by cosine squared x. So we have cosine squared x. Then 1 multiplied by cosine squared x will be cosine squared x over cosine x. Then we can say cosine squared x is cosine x multiplied by cosine x. So this will be over cosine x. Then cosine x over cosine x is 1, so we have remaining cosine x is equal to cosine x.